was, huh? <laughs> All right, everyone. Mike, Mike. Hello, hello. Check, check. One, two, one. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. All right, everybody. Um, thank you for hanging around for our post fight press conference here. We're going to do a couple questions and then open it up to the media. I think. We have a couple people working microphones there, so you guys are able to ask some questions. I see you back there, okay? <laughs> it's hard for me to see, but uh, just start talking when the time comes. But um, Frank, I'll start with you. Do you have your mic, or he's sitting right here behind you, maybe? Oh, yes. Hold on, we'll get one more. I think we have one more. Yes, you can absolutely share mine, not a problem. Um, Frank, I know you're just still trying to catch your breath from what we just saw. How would you summarize what we witnessed tonight? Boxing history. It's, it, for me, it's one of the, it's certainly it's the best live heavyweight fight I've seen. It was just amazing. Two warriors in there who gave everything, and it was just so absorbing. My only regret is the Brits weren't here as well. Could, could you imagine what the, the atmosphere was marvelous? With the Brits here, it would have been even more special, but... What a, what a man he is. He is the standout heavyweight Tyson Fury of his generation, bar none. Have you ever seen him perform better than what you saw tonight? I have seen him perform better. I've seen him box better, but I'll tell you something. I'm not, I, the heart, his heart and, and the bravery, he's just amazing. He's an amazing person, an amazing athlete. And uh, Boxing should be proud of him and proud of what he did tonight. And also Deontay Wilder. It took two guys to make this fight tonight. Indeed it did. And Bob, you and I were chatting just a few moments ago and I asked you, Bob, if you'd had, in all of your years in promoting boxing, if this fight, if you've ever seen anything like this or what fight maybe did this remind you of? And what did you tell me? Well, Christina, first I want to uh, apologize to all the fans who spent their money to see such a boring fight. <laughs> uh, listen, I've been in this business 57 years promoting fights, and I truly have to say, I have never seen a heavyweight fight as magnificent as this. And I am so proud of the man on my right. He showed heart, ability, he is truly a fighting man. What you, kind of, go ahead, yeah. I really mean, what, what, sure, it. respond to that. I mean, this, this man who, who has been and seen it all promoted the likes of Muhammad Ali just giving you those compliments. I'm absolutely humbled by uh, Bob's words. Um, not a chance to look at the fight yet, but I anticipate it was a good fight. We were both down a few times, <laughs> and it was uh, edge of the seat stuff, Bob. Could have swung either way. But, uh, you know, when it comes down to it, when, when I have to pull the chips out every time, I've delivered 33 times in a row, I, and I never let, never let anyone down. I always give it me all, 100% tonight. I came into this fight tonight thinking, you can only do your best in life, and whatever's meant to be, whatever's destined, written in the stars for you will be. And that's it, I trained hard, I dedicated my life, and I, I got the victory tonight. And I just want to say thank you to God, and thank you to all my team and all that. And it was a great, uh, great time, but... I've been home for two weeks out of the last six months. Um, I just had a little daughter born. I didn't have the best preparations in camp, but I don't make excuses. You know, I, was, I came here, I was fit as a fiddle and as strong as an ox. So it, it was what it was. Uh, but now I'm going to go home and regroup and uh, spend some time, some well-earned time with my kids and my wife. And, uh, and that's that. But without this man sat next to me here, this Sugar Hill, the big dog, I wouldn't have knocked him out tonight. It was like to me, in 9, 10, and 11, he was like, get this beep, beep out of here. Stop messing around. He was like, the big dog gets him out late. And he pushed me to knock him out. He really did. I was going to say, just now before he ties, he said it, Sugar Hill, what a trainer. I mean, tremendous job tonight, oh, Sugar. You know, it, it's, it's, it's the genes. Uh, Sugar Hill has the right genes. 
Emmanuel Stewart, my dear friend, the late Emmanuel Stewart, the greatest trainer, now his nephew. I mean, you really learn from Emmanuel. Sugar, how would you describe what we witnessed tonight? Say that one more time. I know the echo makes it hard yeah. to hear. I know. How would you describe what we witnessed tonight? I describe this, uh, this fight that just happened as probably, for me, like one of the most exciting fights in history, uh, especially in the heavyweight division. And the two, I mean, you have the two biggest men in boxing. Go at it like that, put each other down, give it everything they got. And I have to, uh, you know, give all the credit to Deontay Wilder and his team, uh, Malik Scott for stepping in and, and uh, pushing him to where he was able, pushing him to what, he, to what he was able to do today. And he showed a lot of heart, a lot of change. And, uh, you know, I, I give it up to them for that. And on the other hand, big dog Tyson Fury got off the porch, got out there, got the job done. And uh, that's what really matters. You know, it's all about winning. And of course, I like knockouts. Um, I get that from my uncle Emmanuel. That's everything that he taught me. I've been living with him like about 35 years of my life. So I learned as much as I could with him. And he's like a father to me. So I watched everything. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm thankful for having to learn from him. Also being a, a gentleman and being professional too. I, I got a lot of that from him. And uh, it allows me to make new friends out here and uh, to be able to, you know, push Tyson and to be able to make things exciting, you know, just for boxing. With this fight that just happened, boxing is big and boxing is back. The heavyweight division is flourishing, big time boxing, knockout time, Tyson Fury, big dog, Gypsy King. How about that, Shane? Hoo, 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 hoo. Tyson, round four, what was going through your mind after those two knockdowns? Not a great deal. Um, you, get, you go swimming and you're gonna get what? You mess with fire long enough, you'll get burned, you know? I've had three fights with the biggest puncher in the history of my sport, in my division. And he caught me, you know, he caught me uh, twice in the fourth round. But I was never like thinking, oh, this is over. I was thinking, okay, good shot, but I will get you back in a minute. And I did. I was, I was, I was very conscious, I uh, saw the ref go three, four, and uh, I, was, I was always there, you know. He shook me, he put me down, and uh, that's boxing. It, and it, it's life as well, it's not about how many times you get put down or how many times you lose or win. It's about how, how you can come back and keep getting back up and keep moving forward. Like Rocky said, you've got to keep moving forward and uh, in a positive manner and keep fighting. Not just in a boxing fight, but in life in general, because nothing's ever going to be easy. If you want something that's very hard to get, you've got to sacrifice and dedicate and keep pushing no matter what. And never let anybody tell you you can't. Because tonight, again, time and time again, I show that it's very possible to achieve anything you ever want as long as you believe it in here. Yo voy a cantar esta canción, yo voy a cantar esta canción para...